Hi, my name's Flossie. Welcome to my step van. This is my tiny home on wheels. And if you're new here, this is Octo Hat. Oh no. There is water dripping down here. Quack. I previously had some leaking, there was water coming in, the end of the previous episode my 12 volt battery system had stopped working and the door and the front door and the door had jammed. It was an incredible disaster, all the stuff at once stressed me out. Hi everybody! Hi! Welcome to this week's episode. I'm so glad you're here and I thought after the last few episodes this week I would give you a life update. All the balls I'm juggling, it feels like I have a lot in the air right now, a lot in progress and it's been a little stressful and so I thought I'd catch you up with where I'm at with things and what I've got going on and what I've got planned for coming up. So stick around I hope you enjoy! The first thing I wanted to talk about is the step van build. Uh, this is my home, it is a tiny house and I am looking forward to getting the propane installation finished, the lithium battery install done and a solar panel rack built and a solar installed on the roof. Morning everybody. As the weather gets a little colder when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is put the fire on. It is just above 10 degrees right now, and as it becomes more winter, it gets closer to between 5 and 10 degrees in the morning. I'm looking forward to the moment I can install my diesel heater fully once I've rearranged my garage and installed my new battery and electrical system then I'll be able to lie in bed and just press a remote and turn the heater on in the morning so that when I wake up I'm climbing out of bed and it's toasty right now I'm all wrapped up in a, a merino top that I wear a lot and it keeps me warm just thinking about the progression of the seasons and how fall is truly this moment for slowing down and how the adjustment of time opens up emotional and mental spaciousness but there's also this grieving for the warmth but that we wouldn't appreciate the heat without the cold and the long days without the short days and the long nights. Winter I'm really looking forward to doing more crafting and knitting or crocheting and sewing and painting and things that are quieter and slower and a different kind of creative. I just put a hook up here so that I can hang clothes to dry in this warm air pocket. This jacket got a little wet and I really want it to dry properly. It's finally that time again. The sound of rain on the roof and the sound of cooking food on top of the fireplace. Patience potatoes, inspired by Amanda. These ones have been baked and then fried. And I'm gonna make up something delicious with the fresh tomatoes and I've got some kale in my garden.
Hi, kitty. You're basically sitting on the computer. Okay. Nice and cozy. It's nice and toasty warm in here. Oh, so cute. So the thing that I've been working on most recently is the propane install for the step van. I have a beautiful oven and stove, four burners on top and a big oven under, in, underneath. And it is a domestic oven which I'm so stoked about to be able to do real baking and cooking, but it has caused me some problems because I've ha asked some of the local RV shops to give me a hand. And because this is a recreational pleasure vehicle and the stove is a domestic, they will not do it and not touch it because of their gas tickets. Now, tiny houses fall into this gray area category and I consider this a tiny house, really. Uh, it just happens, so happens to drive. I've come up with a workaround for the propane installation and I cannot wait to show you probably in the next episode right after this we'll dive deep into it and hopefully get the stove working and make something really delicious I cannot wait oh my gosh it's been raining for so many days it's the first time I've had my back doors open and it's so nice <sighs> been listening to Scottish music and Irish music and it's been so soothing actually got my drum out I have a Bowron which is an Irish drum and it's played with a tipper getting back into pr practicing again with it a little bit playing along to some music turn out when something's happening? I think so. It's the sound of the fireplace. I put wood in. It's keeping it nice and hot because I've got all the doors and windows open. Hmm, who's a majestic kitty? Who's a majestic kitty? The other two big jobs which feel like the major things for finishing the van build there's a couple of other small build construction pieces that i haven't done yet but the major things are the batteries and the solar the batteries are part of the reason why you're looking at me right now and being like flossy what are you doing your space looks like it's a chaos mess well yes it is a mess and yes i am feeling a little bit chaotic right now and it is to do with the batteries I am very much looking forward to replacing these with the new lithium batteries that I have gotten recently. Uh, I've had these batteries that I have now since the beginning of 2020, so they've had three years of very hard use and no longer hold the charge like they used to, um, as they've been dis discharged a lot of times and over three years used quite, f quite a lot. Eventually I hope to charge it with solar and a DC to DC charger off my alternator. Exciting stuff. A long way to go before I get there. Um, before I can install the lithium batteries that I have gotten I need to clear out the garage the downstairs of underneath my bed. I cannot wait to do that but it requires moving a lot of the clothing some of the other camping stuff into storage and I'm very happy to have some storage offered to me by a friend. I feel very grateful for the people I have in my life. 
The solar install in the roof rack is likely to happen next year. And there's a very big reason for that. I have a special announcement which I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. But in the meantime, the space I'm living in feels incredibly chaotic and messy and a little hard to deal with. <sighs> Oh my gosh, the sun is out and I'm just going for a walk. Feels really nice to be outside after like a week of rain. And I was just thinking about my week and I was thinking that the theme of it is really just slowing down and easing into fall winter season and here I am celebrating sunshine I know that's a little bit of a contradiction but ah, sunshine makes me happy and somebody once told me or I saw once on the internet that it was like exercise is winter's vitamin D Ex exercise is winter's dopamine I think I've just been feeling the adjustment in seasons somewhat intensely. That's me. I think I feel every emotion intensely. And I love that about myself. And it is also challenging. I think perhaps that is why Amanda and I get along so well. We feel emotions intensely. And I think a lot of my friends who I hang out with are people who express and uh, experience things wholeheartedly. So I encourage you, if you are one of those people, to never be ashamed of experiencing your emotions and expressing them wholeheartedly, living yourself wholeheartedly. I think that's such a gift. So yeah. The roof vent above you, I think you can see it. I previously had some leaking, there was water coming in, the end of the previous episode my 12 volt battery system had stopped working and the door and the front door and the door had jammed. It was an incredible disaster. All the stuff at once stressed me out. I'm going to show you what I did for the, the water vent, the uh, roof vent. Hi everybody. Good morning. This is the top of my van. This is fiberglass and this is metal. And there is this sealant that is all the way, but it's old, cracked, and I don't trust it to still be waterproof. So I am sealing it again with this stuff the last day of sunshine before we have another week of rain or are starting a week of rain uh, who knows if that was leaking but I'm not taking any risks we're getting it sealed like this that I get concerned about so we'll just smudge this on and a whole lot over the rivets the glue smushy smushy there's a hole right there does that go all the way through it does it not I have no idea this is all like aged and cracked probably well this is in 1999 been many years so look at that shiny new edge perfect this is the chimney and it's sealed with ultra copper and this is my wetsuit room fan vent so this will dry out all my wetsuit with the heat of the fireplace behind it yay that looks all good
water can egress in so many places. Who's to say it's not getting in there? Or along here? Or along here? Anywhere there's a slight. I think I'm done. This project, the glove is dead. The silicon tube is empty. <sighs> and the sun has come out. Which is awesome because then it means my silicon will dry and have a full day to dry 24 48 hours before it rains. <sighs> Nothing like doing the waterproofing job at the very last minute, the very last day of the dry before it rains. Anyway, I'm gonna take this off and clean all the silicon off me. <sighs> I'm very happy to have gotten this job done. Oh no. There is water dripping down here. Fuck. Ah. There is lots of water on the ceiling. No. Well, I guess I'm gonna be taking the ceiling panel roof off today too. At least this bag is underneath it, otherwise I would have never heard it dripping. Why is there water coming out of my ceiling? Possibly that this... Oh, that is a lot of water! Oh! That this fan vent is the problem. Oh my god! Oh, that's so much water! No! Why? Fuck! <laughs> that was a lot of water. Like several tablespoons for at least. I really think it's the fan vent leaking somewhere. I didn't seal around it, I just trusted that the old sealant would work. I've sealed the whole roof line. This is the only weak spot, so. Oh, I'm so glad I found it today, and I'm so glad that it's dry today. And I have some stuff that I can fix it with. I just gotta figure out how to get onto the roof. Oh god. This is not what I wanted to find today. Not. Conveniently there's very very little wood in the ceiling and it's all mostly foam plastic. And it's not gonna rust. So all I need to do is find the leak, fix it, and then dry everything. We have water here here to try and figure out where it's coming in. And I did such a freaking good job sealing everything that that's going to be very difficult. The chances are I'm just going to climb on the roof somehow and just reseal the perimeter of this whole fan because I don't trust any of it. Just unscrewed the fan and everything on the inside of the fan is dry. Which is really good news because it means the leak is coming from the outside of this, not inside. We have an eight foot board, two tubes of silicon, and next up, a ladder. And the sun is still out. Hooray! Hello, hello from the top of my roof. I am on the roof of my van. I have a board here, which I'm sitting on. And I am going to repair 
this leak that I did not know about, but in now looking at the roof, I'm very not surprised that it leaked. This uh, chimney fan was installed by the person who owned the van before I did, and I would hazard a bet that the silicon used to seal it is at least a year old and may not have been the right type. Who knows? We'll make no excusations here, only suggestions of fixes. So I've got all of the materials I need and I'm going to show you where I think it's been leaking. Doesn't this just look like a giant red flag? Like this, like I was wanting to seal this earlier, but I didn't have this board. I just, this is not good. This is like a recipe for leaking disaster. So I'm going to cut it all off, clean it all up and reseal it. And then there'll be no more water inside my van roof. Like just look at this. This is so easy to pull up and so wet under there. Oh, this is just disaster. No freaking wonder I had a waterfall inside. Oh, like this, and you go, oh yeah, that's properly sealed. And then I take it up and there's water in there. There shouldn't be water in there! Like, this is just not filling me with hope. I'm nearly the whole way around and look, it's just puddles of water. I don't know, the butyl tape is obviously not a complete seal. There's just so much damp under here. Just ridiculous. It's like puddling. It shall be wet no more. I was just saying earlier how comforting it is to feel capable of problem solving. How comforting it is to be like, oh yes, this terrible thing has happened. Like, yes, this is a giant pain in the ass. Yes, this is not good. But how comforting it is to feel capable of problem solving. Well, hello. I wish I had a wide angle lens, but I don't. So you get to see this much of me. What a relief. I'm really glad I found this one I did. I'm so grateful that I have the tools and skills and yeah, confidence in myself, confidence in my own skills, like, thank fuck. <sighs> and here we are, halfway through and it's all gonna be okay. So let me tell you about my silicon that I got. I got this stuff. And it says, tough elastic sealant for every job, sticks to wet surfaces, uh, instantly waterproof, cured sealant is mildew resistant, and it is paintable. Application range is 0 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and for people like me who don't know Fahrenheit very well that's minus 18 to 47 degrees Celsius so the temperature today is totally fine and it has tack free in 30 minutes and fully cured in one to two weeks so yes it might not be cured for one to two weeks but it's fine for right now and it's gonna fix it and it's gonna seal it and it's gonna be waterproof and I have two of these so let's get it let's get at it we're gonna get this sealed up by hook or crook <laughs> I used the whole tube and I've done it the silicon sealant is clear so it's gonna be a bit difficult to see it's over in two layers it's underneath the gasket and then it's spread on top it's gonna to look really difficult because all of the old silicon is still on top of the gasket 
but and I didn't show you the process because my battery's running low and it was just easier for me to concentrate and just seal it but I'm very happy that this is done now I have one more whole tube so I think the next dry day I'll do another coat there we have it sealed roof fingers crossed cross your fingers with me no more leaks I'll keep you updated when it rains next <sighs> I'm glad I was able to find the problem very quickly and identify it all of the edge seal along here is done with the same stuff and I'm very happy I've already done that and it's had time to cure <sighs> Big problems can seem really large and then once you get into them and tackle them, they're not insurmountable. They're able to be done little bit by little bit. And I did it. <sighs> Thanks for coming along with me and for cheering me on as, as I first discovered it and was like, my heart fell through the floor. So yeah, winterize your vehicles, check everything before it rains, not afterwards. Um, I wanted to say to all of you who've watched the last couple of videos a huge thank you. I have passed on all your love and good wishes to Stephen who you saw in a previous video who you may also have subscribed to his channel and I'm hoping also in an upcoming episode to fingers crossed cross paths with Amanda again soon too. It feels really really nice to have a community invested in me and some of my friends stories also I thank you for your love and support we really it means a lot we really notice it um we may not reply to all of your comments but we certainly read them all and they're deeply deeply appreciated my shoulder uh in July uh you might want to go back a couple of episodes I came off my electric bike and tore my rotator cuff and damaged some of the tendons in my shoulder quite badly and it has decreased the amount of ocean swimming that I've been able to do. It is still recovering uh, slowly but surely. There's a lot of things that I struggle to do which are out horizontal um, or behind me if I have to reach behind me. Um, a lot of construction stuff with heavy drills that kind of thing is still a little challenging but I'm getting there and I have been grateful to be able to have some help by some other professionals in my life for some of the big jobs that I'm going to come up and show you in the next few episodes. Hi everybody, this is the middle of the night. It, I just remembered that I need to tell you I have taken the cover off around the fan vent and all of this in here now is like super dry it's been airing for a couple of days with the fireplace it's been like a couple of days since it rained um, the last 24 48 hours have been kind of really blustery and overcast but no actual rain I just started to hear threatening drips on the roof and I'm gonna be asleep so I wanted to tell you this is dry now and in the morning I'm assuming it will have rained by then and I'll wake up and touch it and see if there's any moisture anywhere in this vicinity and then we will know if my weatherproofing has worked anyway I'm struggling to keep my eyes open so I'm gonna go back to bed good night roof vent what I'm pleased to tell you now that it has not leaked since. I'm still checking at it and I haven't put the um, trim back on yet because I need like it to rain a few more times to fully trust it, but we seem to be okay. Uh, the door, I managed to get the stone out and, and unfree it. And the 12 volt battery system that I do have currently, it lost a bolt. I jiggled a bolt off and it obviously stopped working. Um, I'm very gl glad nothing blew up. Uh, having one cord come loose on your battery system can be catastrophic as you can boil a battery if you've got them linked up badly ie ser in series or parallel. I'm excited about Octohat actually this year because I plan on making two more. I have some colored wool here and I'm halfway in the process of making 
more Octo hats, Kraken hats, crocheted Kraken hats, which I plan to give away on the channel uh, and potentially on my Patreon also. And if you want to know more information about that, keep jump on over to my Patreon and I will be giving an update on some of the more uh, behind the scenes, real time life updates soon. Keep an eye out for an upcoming Kraken octopus hat announcement and giveaway. With the season changed, I found myself spending a lot of time watching videos, consuming content, scrolling on the internet. And I was like, this is not making me happy. This is not doing anything for my mental health. So I have decided to consciously today, specifically, make an effort to not watch anything, not consume anything. And instead, I'm going to do this. I have this jacket. I've already sewed a couple of patches on. So I'm going to put this one on, probably, probably put that one on somewhere, that one, maybe this one over here, I don't know, anyway, I love patches, well, Have a really big announcement so uh, in the new year I will be traveling to New Zealand New Zealand is my home country where I was born uh, to acknowledge that my family heritage is also not from New Zealand but uh, a couple of generations back that I have uh, Irish and Scottish heritage um, but I was born in New Zealand and that is where my mother and my brother and sister um, and most of my uh, immediate family relatives live. Now, in the last few years, my father passed away, which was really sad and I was not able to go back at that particular time to go visit him, to see my family and the time when we were all mourning that loss. And that was really, really challenging. Um, so I'm going back in January. Um, I will be there for a couple of months. I'm really excited to take you with me and share some of the Southern Hemisphere beauty. I'll also be popping over to Melbourne, Australia, uh, where I used to live prior to coming to uh, Canada and seeing some friends there. So in the new year, look forward to some amazing episodes from the Southern Hemisphere summer, while we here in the Northern Hemisphere, where I'm leaving most of you behind, I know I have some Southern Hemisphere followers, so I hope to bring a few more of you along with me, um, to show the contrast between seasons. When it is warm in one side of the world, it is cold in the other. And I am very grateful to, to be able to go back and visit my family, to bury my father, to reconnect with some family and also to share some of the beauty from the country that I love a lot and get to know some of it better myself. <sighs> it's going to be an emotional journey, I'm sure of it. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot uh, and I cannot wait to show it to you all and then I look forward to coming back to Canada and that feels like a really really important thing to do. Um, I will be traveling in a van in New Zealand. It will be Van Life New Zealand and I cannot wait. 
excited to share that with you and, and let you know what's coming up ahead so that uh, you can know what you're looking forward to. So if you want to, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss it when it comes out. Um, and thank you all so, so much for your support and your love as I continue on this YouTube ad adventure. Uh, it has been quite a life adjustment, putting out a video every single week, having enough content to film, and choosing what level of vulnerability and privacy and sharing and connection that I want to nurture. And you all have responded so generously and so supportively and so kindly, and I don't take that for granted. So thank you so much and a huge thank you to all my Patreons who follow me over on there and get weekly and sometimes daily behind the scenes updates from me of where I am, what I'm crazy things I'm up to. I love you all very much and I'll see you all next week. Bye! Is this the last of the sunshine?